Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in for another one of my soap making video. This is Helen from Moonlit Soap Work. Uh, today we are uh, actually, this is really nice. I'm soaping during the daytime for a change. Um, anytime I get to soap during the daytime, it's always great. Um, when I have, whenever I have the house to myself and my four years old is running around and hus husband's at work and it's, it's great to have a day to myself. Anyway, so this is nice and beautiful day outside and we're gonna make a nice beautiful pretty soap uh, the, the scents we're using today is lilac in boom and uh, lilac will be purple obviously so it's gonna be a beautiful purple soap um, the color that I'm using is this is, is a very very deep purple you can see over here um, I'm using this beautiful purple is actually half uh, pearls purple crayon for matte oil and half um, um, violet from our workshop purge. I'll leave the little link in the bottom and so it's actually equal part is two spoons of each into and mix into this beautiful beautiful uh, purple uh, it's only because um, the matte oils uh, purple crayons is a little bit have a little bit of a blue shim to it and then the um, the the violet from Workshop Herge is a little more on the uh, violet, obviously, but the little purplish tone like on the warmer side, so I just kind of want a nice little button in between. Uh, it looks beautiful in mixed oil, obviously. It's going to lighten up a lot once it goes into the soap. And then on standby, I'm having some this deep, deep blue color. This is the uh, ultramarine blue. Um, I use these this color a lot to uh, deepen and then my blue or my purple tones. So this is kind of on standby in case I didn't like the how all the color come out when I mix it into into the soap. And over here I have my um, my soap my oil base all mixed in and already pre mixed in is a little bit of you can see is a little bit of the um, titan titanium dioxide because I need a white base to work with that purple. So. Um, and it's not quite mixed in yet and, um, because the, the, the titanium dioxide was pre-mixed in water, so water and oil is right here. So it's, we're going to blend it in all together. Uh, I'm trying this one out again. I do this once in a blue moon when I pre-mix the titanium dioxide in because I seem to have a little bit of a problem with my titanium dioxide not dissolving totally when I when I mix it. Not not dissolving, but I see little tiny sparkle of white here and there for my soap on some of my deeper color ones. So I was trying to avoid that. I don't, really, don't want to see little tiny wing drop of white in there. Um, so this, this is a different way of using it. Um, my titanium dioxide is dissolvable in water, so I always pre mix them in water already. But um, for some reason, it just wasn't blend in as much as I like it, and I blend quite a lot with all my soap already. So that's that. And then here's my light water solution. Uh, it's pre mixed in with um, a giant tablespoon of salt for the hardness. Uh, I've been really liking how it feel when the, uh, the soap feel with the, with the salt, so I'm doing that. So we're going to drain this into it. Um, I'm going to be chatty today because I have the whole place to myself. So drain it into it just in case there's any kind of speckle that's unresolved or anything like that. But everything seems to be fine. And let's get soaping. Oh, by the way, before I move on, um, the design today is going to be some kind of a purple gradient uh, on a tall and skinny mold. So um, I'm trying to attempt to basically mix it up and then divide the, the batch into half. So half of them will be purple, the other half going to be just white. And then I will go with the deepest color on the bottom and then add more white and put it next to the layer on then for a lighter tone and then add more white and put the layer on the, for a lighter tone. So I'm hopefully build up to a nice little gradient. I have seen some beautiful gradient soap out there that's like nicely perfectly blend and um, I don't think it's going to be that perfect but um, either way we're going to have some beautiful layer of purple if it's going to be a beautiful flawless gradient or a little bit of layer going on either way it's going to be beautiful but um and then i'm going to top it off with a little bit of white peep on top so let's get soaping
Hi everyone, I'm back. Well, this batch totally, you totally sees on me. So I'm just attempting to <laughs> savage it. So I went ahead and put all the rest of the white into the very firm, like chunky white into a piping bath and put a little bit of um, green mica to the sides of the bath. I'm trying to squeeze it in. And I was hoping to use like a star shaped piping tip, but it doesn't. It's not coming out at all. So this is basically a round shape, which is giving me this cloud pattern, which is pretty much what I'm gonna have to live with. Because there's like nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So right, here's my lilacs and um, gradient soap and it is totally 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 sees on me and this are the pipe top when a soap sees the pipe top does not look very pretty and so I added a little bit of sparkling of the uh, green color in micas on top just to give it a little contrast and we'll see how this go but um, hopefully the inside will look kind of pretty because it's kind of purplish gradient hopefully the gradient work out and it might be worth the effort um, well stay tuned for the cutting video thank you very much for tuning in and this will be another one of my fail example soap I seem to have a lot of those so um, thanks everyone for your support so far and be patient with me for all my fail batches I'm showing you guys uh, stay tuned for the cutting and if you like everything or even even like my fail attempt video please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and if you like to stay tuned for any of my future videos please go ahead and subscribe to my channel once again happy soaping thank you